The formatter templates control the mechanics of pipetting. The pipetting volume comes from the limbs. Each template has a recallable name and the date it was created. A description may be completed for the convenience of others using the program. The scan barcode is checked if a barcode is to be read with this template. If a program is running by barcodes and the barcode cannot be read, the sample vial is returned to its rack position and the program proceeds. There are several options to define the course of action if the barcode cannot be read. The source characteristics define the aspirate function. If target method is checked, it will automatically execute the following sequence if the aspirated volume is less than 30 microliters. The tip will first aspirate and dispense 30 microliters to and from the source to pre-wet the tip interior. Then 50 microliters is aspirated and dispensed back to whatever the target volume that is called for. Assume the target was 10 microliters. The tip is first pre-wet with 30 microliters. Then 50 microliters is aspirated and 40 microliters is dispensed back to the source prior to leaving with the target of 10 microliters left in the tip. If the volume to be aspirated is greater than 50 microliters, then the target method is automatically ignored even though it is checked. The aspirate curve defines the calibration curve that is to be used for the aspirate function. None is used only for calibration and then it is set at 16 steps per microliter. The formatter can accommodate a calibration curve made with water or serum. The latest curve will be used when either is checked. Aspirate height determines the tip location for aspiration. If liquid level is selected, the tip will sense liquid level and aspirate a preset distance below the sensed liquid level. This is covered elsewhere. Liquid level sensing should not be used when aspirating from a microplate well. It will not be effective. Checking the bottom of the well will aspirate from the bottom of the well as defined by the plate database. That specific plate must be defined on the deck layout for that position. If steps are selected, the operator must define that number. The prefill function may be used to pre-wet the tip with a defined number of cycles and volume. This function should be used when pipetting organics. When pipetting organics, it is necessary to fill the tip headspace with the organic vapors to prevent dripping. The touch-off function will cause the tip to move sideways at the top of the well as defined in the plate database. This is to assist in touching off a clinging drop after the aspirate. A slow withdrawal is available whenever the tip leaves a liquid of any depth. The slow withdrawal allows the surface tension of the liquid in the reservoir to wipe the tip exterior of drops as it leaves. If air gap is checked, a 5 microliter air gap will be automatically aspirated after the tip reaches its top Z position prior to moving. The volume of the air gap is set in the parameters. A note of caution. The 5 microliter air gap will affect the meniscus readings. Normally, a 5 microliter air gap is drawn after every aspirate. The meniscus detector is calibrated assuming the 5 microliter air is there. If this value is changed or not used, the meniscus detector will be off by that amount unless recalibrated. If verified volume is checked, it will cause the tip to move to the meniscus detector for a volume verification. If the verification fails, the error recovery for a retry will be as selected. Aspirate speed is self-explanatory. Aqueous fluids may be aspirated at fast speed. Plasma and serum should be aspirated at slow speeds. The aspirated fluid must be able to follow the piston motion. The destination characteristics define the dispense function. 
If target injection is selected, it overrides other functions. The tip will use piston displacement to dispense all but the last three microliters at the top of the well. It will then use low air pressure to blow out the last three microliters. This will minimize droplets clinging to the tip exterior, particularly when dispensing small volumes. This is a non-contact dispense in that the tip does not contact the contents of the well where the dispense is made. The dispense height is self-explanatory. The actual dimensions come from the plate database. If the touch-off function is checked, the tip will move to the top of the well and touch off on the sidewall. The slow withdrawal is useful to wipe the tip exterior as it leaves a liquid surface. If a significant volume is to be dispensed, it can be dispensed at the bottom of the well. The dispensed liquid will surround the tip. A slow withdrawal would assist in wiping the tip surface of clinging drops. The dip after function allows the tip to go back down into the dispensed liquid to touch off clinging drops. These are special functions that are available if a situation can benefit from their use. There are two forms of mixing the contents of a well after a dispense. Titeration is aspirating a volume from the bottom of the well and dispensing it at the top of the well for the number of cycles that are selected. The formatter software keeps track of the total volume dispensed into the well. The preferred mix volume is 75% of this volume that is dispensed to the well. As an alternative, a set number may be entered. The number of mix cycles is self-explanatory. Six cycles is better than three. Six takes twice as long as three. Bubbling is a very effective mix action. 450 microliters of air is aspirated and then dispensed at the bottom of the well. Bubbling cannot be used if foam will be created by the contents of the well. The dispense speed is self-explanatory. In most cases, a fast speed may be used, since the piston is forcing the liquid from the tip. However, this needs to be judged on each specific case.